previewing the season with head coach Jim Angles. And uh, let's start a little bit with looking back to last year. What a whirlwind year for this team. I mean, the win at Michigan, the run in the CIT, the announcement to the Atlantic Sun. I mean, is this the most memorable year that you've had in basketball? Uh, yeah, it's, it was everything sort of came out. Um, if you had to script it and put it down on paper before, before the season started, and you would have put all those things in there and you would have deemed it a successful season. So um, it went as well as it could have. Uh, you know, we played really well. You know, we beat a ranked team. We were able to get into a conference finally. And um, so it's really put us in the position for all the, the hard work that we put in before that. We finally have seen all the fruits of that come together, and now we have something to sort of jump off of now. When you look back and now some things have had time to settle in, it's tough for me, but for you as a head coach, what might be the number one memory from that last last fiscal year, if you will? Uh, you know, honestly, it was it was the when we got off the bus back from Michigan, seeing the student athletes at the bus. Um, it was when we got off the bus from Northern Arizona, having the police car give us uh, an escort back to campus. Uh, it was little things like that. Really, are they're not real tangible things, but they're things that will always be memories. I think not only for myself, but they'll stuff that everybody in our bus or everybody on the team will remember. Um, you know, it's not the awards or um, the different things that you would get. It's just those memories that you have that will never go away. Then we get into the summer and, of course, the announcement of joining an automatic qualifier in, in the Atlantic Sun Conference. What does that mean for a program like NJIT? It means everything. I mean, it's really how everything is based in college basketball, everything in athletics. You know, you have to have a chance to compete for a championship, and we've really never had that. Um, you know, in the Great West we did, um, but it was, never an op- it was never a doorway to get to the NSA tournament. So, you know, we've really played and we've motivated and, um, you know, it's a credit to all the guys have gone through here that they've been able to do all this stuff and, and guys have improved and gotten better and we've gotten some individual accolades and we've played very well. But now having the access to that final weekend, um, it makes us a normal team. You know, it allows us now an, a normal progression through the season. You have a non-conference schedule where obviously you're trying to do well. Um, then you, you're playing that non-conference schedule to be, have a good conference season, and then the conference season prepares you for the conference tournament. So there's three different seasons within your schedule, and now we actually have that again. So um, there's some normalcy to that. There's some normal motivation that goes with that with our players. The summertime was great for our guys because you could see the energy they had because they know that everything they were doing in the summertime, they were working towards something now rather than just you know trying to get better. So um, it, it's, it really means a lot to everybody here. Now we, we move ahead, and, and you know, I, I'd say to you, and I'm going to ask you, what do you do for an encore? But you know, last year you played without Terrence Smith. Uh, Kai Howard misses 10 games. DeMond Lynn plays through a, a really tough foot injury. How is this team, give me the argument this team can take that next step forward here on the court in 2015-16. Yeah, I mean, that's a great question. I think you know, having Terrence back obviously allows us some more flexibility. You know, losing Daquan and Oderu, everything came together. When Terrence went down, we were trying to figure out a way to be able to compete as a team. Um, and we made some good adjustments and the guys embraced it and we were able to continue to improve. Uh, but having Terrence back now may add some more flexibility because he's a legitimate post scorer. Um, you know, he was third in the country field goal percentage offense as a sophomore. So we're hoping that he can continue that track. Uh, but he's got to get back and then having you know, the progress with Vlad and having Mohamed Bandari now as a freshman, I think all have the opportunity to have a good effect on the team. Um, so having Terrence now and some of the things, and. You know, I think a lot of the things that we dealt with last year are really what teams deal with during the season. So it was a credit to the guys that we were able to stay together, stay together and continue to improve and continue to get better and get, get to the end of the season and, see, and uh, win some games and have, have a good time with it too. What have you liked so far about watching this team in practice as they prepare for the Open? You know, there's a definite confidence. You know, we, we're an experienced team now. A lot of these guys have played in a lot of quality games, have won some quality games. Um, you know, the one thing I like about last year is that uh, playing in front of the home crowd, um, you know, playing in the CIT, playing against Albany, playing against St. Francis, New York after we beat Michigan, beating Michigan on the road, beating Duquesne on the road, you know, those are conference type games. Uh, that those are conference type feels. So I think at least we have that. We don't have. To, we can reference that when we get to our conference league uh, opponents this year. And so we're playing with the type of um, confidence that I think uh, that we should have. You know, because we do have a, a very good team coming back.